we are at Costco. Couples, you know, Costco grocery run. Yeah, right? couples going grocery shopping together. Not so close place. Hi everybody. You guys want to go shopping with us? <laughs> Why not? Right? Right? This is all about Jen though. No. Yeah. I did my part yesterday. No, they want to hear from you. No, I did my what part. What day are we on? They probably got nervous with the wind. Jen, Jen's on day 16. Carnivore. And what are you looking to get carnivore food wise? Meat. I, what in particular? Uh, stew meat. Let's go this way. Stop putting that meat. The girl's favorite new thing is um, slow cooked beef stew. And they have it all chunked up here. So we're actually getting a whole bunch of that. I think we're going to have that maybe every other day. And we need eggs. And we need a lot of ground beef. Mm -hmm. And I need a couple steaks. Jen's not huge into the steak set. What about no. chicken? You want any chicken? We have a bunch of chicken. How, about our, how are our carnivore dogs doing? They're going to need some more food. Did Today? you guys watch that one? Have you guys seen Jen make the carnivore dog food? Mm -hmm. Are we due? I'm sure we will be. I can't really find it anywhere Today. cheaper. Everybody says it's cheaper other ways. We went across the street to Woodman's and it's not any cheaper there. Went to Walmart. It's not any cheaper there. Do you have your... Uh, Here, you got to get the card out without showing everyone my credit card number like I did last time on the live stream. Did you really? You guys have any questions for us while we're doing this? Anybody Shoot us some questions. Me? Yeah, there's 80 people right now. No kidding. 100 people right now. Anybody working for you? Just Jen, say something. Hi. All right, hold on. We're going to flip this over. <laughs> Act like I'm making a phone call. Okay. You're going to grab a cart? Yes. Try not to get anyone else in there. It's warm in here. You good? It is. All right, let's just see. Thank you. You go, dear. Ooh. Everyone gets to watch Jen shop. This is one of your favorite things, right? Ooh, that looks like fun. They're starting to get all their, they got all their stuff and pool stuff. That's exciting, right, Jen? Are you looking for anything else besides carnivore food today? Clothes? Socks? I don't want to switch this to this. So I'm not really going for clothes yet. Like I said on the live stream yesterday, you guys got to go check out Anna on Poco Moonshine Family. She lost over 100 pounds in a year. She is my inspiration. Go check her out, talk to her, because I'm only on day 15. Did anybody see the eclipse? Jen and I saw it a little bit from our car, but it was okay. we weren't very well prepared. Uh, that's cool, point up to that. See, look, you can just push this and then they can see this way. Oh. Let's different. look at this stuff quick. Ooh, we got one of those we haven't tested yet. Yeah, this summer Emma wants to do that. Should we make fun of all the food here? No, because that doesn't help anybody. Oh. It's going to be nice. Should I get a hat like that, Jen? No, please don't. <laughs> we need any socks or anything? Eventually. I'm here for all right, the... show you guys what we're going to get for our meat run. Here for the food. We need to get one of those uh, plastic containers too. Hang on, you keep talking. I'm pulling my phone out. People yelled at me yesterday. So you're pulling it out again? Yes, because I want to see the comments. Don't do that. It's I'll not just on you me. here. You just hold it's it and do it on here. Hi, I don't want to be. If you on. do two phones, it's going to cause issues. Turn it the other way. Jen says she wants to go on I her don't. phone to check the comments. I Where do those containers go? Say hi right here. Hi. No, I want here, to hold it for a minute. We'll switch. Nope. I got to grab the meat. Turn it around the other way. What do you mean? I don't like looking at myself. Oh, she's having camera issues today. I don't like looking at myself. Do we need Here, any? you need any clothes? You need clothes because you lost so much weight. No. I need meat. This is my favorite thing right here. Here, let me flip the camera around for you. Boop. See, look, they can see what we see now. Anybody prefer Costco over Sam's Club or Sam's Club over Costco? Costco versus Sam's Club. Leave a comment down below. Yeah, this is just what's closest to us. Really like Ooh, salmon. We got salmon. Fish. 
We definitely got to get ground beef. Definitely got to get ground beef. I always get this ground beef right here. Organic. 25 bucks. Jeez. Times two. Yeah, we've been going through a lot of that. Got to be prepared. Prepare, prepare, prepare. Jen, what kind of steaks do you want? I'll pass on it for now. Right here. This is the girl's favorite food right here. Yep. People are going to be like, really? You buy that much? Yes, but we're a family of six. Family of six here. I gotta get some steaks still too. I think I'm gonna get some New York strip steaks. Adam's gonna be here. Where'd she go? This is going to be a big haul. We don't have a Sam's Club near here, do we, Jen? No, I think the nearest one is Janesville, which is about two hours away. This is. That's it. Yeah, but how many? How much is it per pound? Three forty-nine. So that's more. That's expensive. way too much. Yeah, you should get it for a dollar. We're going to go to Woodman's. Yeah. What else do we need? We need more meat. That's no, not enough. No, no. Look, you were looking at boneless. We need bone in, so this is cheaper. It's a dollar forty-nine a pound, which is cheaper than Woodman's. Okay, go for it. It's not cheaper than Woodman's, so I got it for up under a buck no, before. I went there a couple weeks ago. While Jen does that, just a little bit more meat over here. Oh, here it is. My daughter Lily loves this turkey. Turkey is a weak bird. Yeah, I agree. Some of the girls like turkey every now and then. They'll add some butter to it. Has any employee caught you yet? Nope. I'm just talking on my phone, Sandra. I don't know what you're talking about. Adam's coming over this week. Should I grab one of these? I should. Or this. over there working oh my gosh she's filling the card up she is filling the whole card up is that gonna be enough no, not less, but I'm this is gonna be fun at the checkout yeah. what else do we need some eggs Too many spices for my liking. This might be doable without the thing on the side. Oh, 
Are you at West as well? No. Oh, you're at East. Carrie, get the Kirkland grass-fed butter. Trust me, it's objectively better than Kerrygold. I have to try that, and I'm going to do that. Thank you, Nick. Nick said to get the Kerry, get the grass-fed Kirkland butter, and who's your carnivore? Brett told me that too. We have to find that. We need butter. Thank you for that tip, Nick. I'm going to do just that. The chicken was for the dogs. Yeah, that is the dog's chicken. Although humans might eat a little bit of that chicken. This is for the humans, humans, humans. That's for the dogs. This is for Lily likes this and I don't know. What do you got there? Rotisserie chicken. What's that for? For what? It's a lot of butter. What about one of these? Should we grab one of these guys? Jen, throw one of those in the cart? And the Cinnabons? Should we get some Cinnabons? Let's throw it over my head. No, not this time. Maybe next time. Jen, there's 379 people on here right now. Where are the eggs? They move the eggs? They got eggs. These eggs are right here. We got no eggs except these hard-boiled eggs. Jen, you want hard-boiled eggs? We got the. I got these at one time for convenience, but it's so dumb. And Jen just made herself pretty dumb to buy store-bought hard-boiled eggs, right, Jen? You don't need paper towel now. We got to find out where the eggs are and the butter. Well, the eggs would be in there, so would the butter. Does anybody want to watch Jen buy paper towel? Come on, skip the paper towel. I hate this section of the store. I'm going to read comments while you grab stuff that I don't want to. Top sirloin cat bags of two at Costco is always a great way to save. Where's the sheet cake with the buttercream frosting? 100% grass-fed Polish sausage. Wow, there's a lot of comments coming through. Store-bought hard-boiled eggs are overrated. Stocking up for the movie theater? Or is that for home? Read ingredients on that rotisserie chicken. Might want to put it back. We didn't get rotisserie chicken. Yeah, that is. Oh, it is. Ingredients, chicken breast, water, seasoning, salt, modified food starch. Jen, this is garbage. Oh, man. Thank you, guys. We're Guess putting it we're back. Putting that back. Just get chicken breast. I like to shred it up. She likes to shred it up. You get chicken breast, you put it in the slow cooker. It'll shred right up. Okay. I'll put that back. Thank you for the comment. Right, go that way. Go that way. Go that way. Frozen burger patties. Yeah. Um. I've been getting the grass-fed frozen burger patties from here, but the girls don't like them. I don't know. They're getting too picky, I think. Okay. Jen's on the phone again with an emergency call. There's 431 people, but Jen's on the phone. Very important phone call. We got to get some garbage bags now. If you guys have any questions, shoot. Archer has good sausage. Aloha, what are your thoughts on grass-fed versus grain-fed uh, and pasture-raised chicken, pork, and eggs? Okay. I prefer the best we can get if you can afford it. I get a lot of grass-fed, grass-finished meat from my neighbor, but they've been out forever now, right? What? Our neighbor where we get meat from, they're, they're constantly out. We promoted them on our YouTube channel and they keep selling out. They only got grass-fed uh, ground beef left That's lately. Good. Too many people telling you what to do. Yeah. When buying chicken, read the label. It's not the same as buying just a steak. Very true. I never, Sandra, I never buy chicken. This is Jen's deal. Jen's doing that. mostly beef, but she's still doing some chicken and yes. with a bunch of butter. Ellen says her Costco has pasture raised eggs. I didn't see any eggs here yet. Ready? Yeah, let's find some eggs in. Over here by the butter. Not, they're definitely not down this aisle. Here, should we just go down every, every one of these? I used to eat those when I did keto. They were probably bad for you. Those are absolute garbage. Garbage, garbage, garbage. Lots of garbage.
Do you need more chicken wings? Chicken wings. You want chicken breasts? Chicken wings. I have, I have chicken breasts, yes. You need chicken wings for Adam. I don't think he eats chicken wings. Really? No, he just eats ground, he just eats beef. Huh. I'll get it for you and Alyssa. We have some. Did she eat any of the ones we bought last week? Probably. I always get these, but the last couple times the girls didn't like those at all. Should try the other ones. Jen, there's 500 people on here. What the heck? Eggs and butter are in the freezer room. They're not in there right now, I'll no, tell you what. Not. They moved them at ours. I think the butter's on the other side. Okay. Bacon. Look at this trash. Look at this absolute garbage. Sugar. It's not even real flour, it's bleached white flour. Vegetable oil. Glycerin is Jen. Don't they make bombs out of glycerin? Yeah. It's got glycerin in it. So this is what I normally get. Someone said get the other one. This one? Is this the one you're saying to get? Or this one? Or this one? I think you meant this one. Hey, everyone in the comments, which one? This one? This blue one? <laughs> this is crazy. Does Sandra say yes? This one here is the good one. Let's see. Pasteurized cream and salt. I'm getting this one. Kirkland unsalted. Oh, that's the salted one. This one here? That's organic. Don't they spray stuff on that one? That one's unsalted. No, bright green box. It's green. I'm not getting that one. I normally get that one. I want to try this new one. We have blue box and we have this box. I think people are just messing with me in the chat. Kirkland, organic, unsalted, refrigerated, grass-fed butter. I don't see it saying grass-fed. See, this is what I ran into last time. What does that one say? I don't think we, I don't think we have the one these people are talking about. Blue, 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 blue. Everyone's saying blue. All right, I'm getting these. What could possibly go wrong? That's what I always got before. It doesn't say grass fed on it, though, does it? There's tons of it at home still. Okay. We gotta see if there's eggs here. Maybe they moved the eggs over here by all the butter. I don't see it anywhere. How do we not have any eggs? Uh -uh. Is there an egg shortage? Do you need any cream? Yeah, I do, but it's pretty expensive. Bill said, get, get some fresh milk from your neighbor and churn your own grass-fed butter. Do you sell eggs anymore? Eggs we do. They're going to be in the dairy cooler, though. So if you turn left down here, they'll just be right in the wall. There weren't any in there. Yeah. We just saw hard-boiled oh, eggs in there. All right. We might be all out currently. But, oh, OK. Uh, they should be back in just like the next day. OK, thank you. Mm -hmm. Prepare, prepare, prepare. They're out of eggs. They said my co our Costco doesn't have it. That's not the right butter. All right, I'm gonna go back and grab the carry gold butter then.
Heard the largest egg laying company was recently shut down. Yeah, I heard something about that too. Butter. Put this back where I got it. Look at this garbage. Oops. Come on. Come on. There you go. Here's what I hate most in the in this world. Absolutely false advertising, horrible garbage. Look, it's got oats in it. It's so good for you. This one, at least you know is bad. I hate the Cheerios because it's just false advertising and they're tricking people into thinking it's something decent. I'm pretty sure that's all we're getting. Oh, a lot of people have been suggesting Jen try some apple cider vinegar. Grab some then. Go for it. What could possibly go wrong? Okay. Well, I'm going to try it. I know it's nasty, but it's supposed to be really good for you. A lot you, of people so. in the comments yesterday were saying that Jen should try some apple cider vinegar with her water to help with her digestion, digestion in digesting meat since mm -hmm. it's been so long. So she's going to give that a try. North Coast apple cider vinegar. Use local farmer for meat and eggs. I agree with you 100%, Wendy Barr. We normally do that from our neighbor, but they're out of meat right now. They just have ground beef left, um, which we could get from them because I did throw a bunch of ground beef in here. Mm -hmm. I don't think they're open today either. We go through, that we go through a ton of ground beef, and they don't have enough eggs for us, but we're going to be ramping up our egg production real soon, right, Jen? Yep. Jen and I are going to be, uh, we're going to try to see if we can output 120 eggs a week. That, can you guys please tell him that is 120 chickens. Yeah, I know. And we have about 14 chickens right now. We can't even keep track of them. And... We're going to get 120 chickens. Yeah. Homestead Rescue. That's the plan. Way too much. What else we Bill do? said make sure that vinegar says it has the mother. Carrie is the most important part of the vinegar. The mother? Mm. Is he joking or is this a real thing? It's raw. Unfiltered, unpasteurized, organic apple cider vinegar diluted with water to 5% acidity. No sugar, no preservatives. What do you guys think? Is this legit? Oh my goodness, there's so many comments. Yes, the mother is a must. I don't see it saying anything about the mother. I don't know. What does that mean? Yeah, what does that mean? Yeah. Rookies here. We're rookies. If I get this, I'm going to be okay though, right? Is Jen going to be okay with this? Or should we go somewhere else? And try it. As carnivores, it's as if we have to walk through drug dealers every time we need to get our food. Yeah, like going through a drug den. They said it looks legit. Other people are saying you need the mother. Nope, it's the wrong brand. Oh, we'll have to try it the other place then. All right, you ready? We're we got to go to one other place after this, so. Everyone says we need the mother. We got to put that one back, Jen. Wisconsin's Costco's. Wisconsin's Costco's don't carry the Kirkland grass-fed Irish butter. I keep leaving a comment card asking them to carry it. Yeah, I don't know what our Costco is. We got limited things because I see other YouTubers going to Costco. And I'm like, I want that, and they don't have it here at my location. We do have ketchup. Should we look at the ketchup ingredients? Distilled vinegar, cane sugar, salt, onion powder, and natural, natural flavoring. We don't know what that is. This used to be, this used to be my go-to back in the day. 
Jen's putting the vinegar back. We're going to try it another place. We got some canned meat over here. Contains tuna packed in Thailand. I got some of this at home. Albacore tuna contains tuna. It's usually pretty good if you got one ingredient, right? Pink salmon. All right, Jen, what else? We good? Uh-huh. Here, you take it for a while. They want to talk to you. They're sick of me. I don't want to see. I don't like my face being shown. Bye. We'll switch the other way. Should we take some, take some guesses on what our bill's going to be? Take some guesses on what the bill's going to be. Ask 600. Them. Ask them, not oh. you. What do you guys think the bill's going to be? Normally it's around three. Normally we don't have all the dog food. No, normally dog food is separate. You want to push this heavy sucker then? Sure. That's a lot of beef. Yeah, a bunch of garbage in it. Hmm. Pretty heavy, isn't it? All that yeah, crap food that I used to get. Oh, man. You eat m ms Yeah. Oh, I don't, but all the crap food that I used to get and just didn't care. And we're like, oh, we'll just count our calories. Yeah, look how that worked. We'll Not really, moderate. huh? We'll just moderate our drug addiction. Oh, you guys have a lot to say. I didn't know we were that yeah, far behind. Know. Holy cow. We're self-checking out. Thank you so much. You gotta aim it at your face. I'm not, I'm sorry, we're looking at the floor. I'm right here, guys. I don't wanna be at my face. Jen, please look back and see the red label on the AV, ACV. It should be okay. I put it down. We're gonna go somewhere else and get it. I'm going back and reading some comments. Hi, Michelle. Talk to Dr. Barry about the vinegar sitter. Oh my gosh, she came and talked, cider. He did a video on it, a really good video. Yeah, watching. we were listening to it on the way here, actually. Somebody said, I have that, oh my gosh, vinegar at home. Guys, I can't talk. It's kind of embarrassing when you're you walking and talking. No, I don't have your card. Get Briggs patties you know, the way, for the vinegar. Sure. Well, you have the card and I'm looking for it in my pocket. What do you guys feed your chickens? I know I just go to tractor supply Nothing. talking about you chickens. Feed them insects. No, well, they gotta have more than that. If the vinegar is raw, it should be good. It was raw, yeah. That vinegar was right. Now we got more stuff. Hey to... Bill, how's Daisy? How are you doing? How's the snow up there? Yeah, it was a lot of vinegar. Take some question. But... Ask, what's the total? What Closest you, to what the wins a free ribeye. <laughs> What do you guys think the total is? So we'll show you. But it's a lot of dog meat in there too, which will go a really long way. We didn't get the plastic. Go, go back and get the vinegar. I use that vinegar, but I would talk to Dr. Barry. Oh, I think it's a little bit higher than that. Um, yeah, Sophia might get it. <laughs> I think it might be around there. We'll see, we're going now. Here, Carrie thought he would be smart and do self-checkout, but this is actually gonna take a lot longer. Well, I didn't want to keep recording. Oh yeah, this is gonna be really long because you gotta put everything on the side there. Higher guys, higher. What are you doing with your life? Yeah, probably, maybe even higher than that, but nor this isn't normally how it is. It's because we have the, the dog meat in here, which I kind of went overboard with the dog meat, but we're definitely going to need it. See, because look, our total is that already, and that's all that we got. So, again, this isn't normally what it is, but here's where it comes. That's all the dog food. Are you, do you guys have dogs? Are they on a carnivore diet? Because we do, um, we'll probably do another short on this, on how to do it. What do your dogs get loose stool on carnivore? Uh, yeah, he actually does. Oh, Carrie's telling me to be quiet. It don't bother me. I have no, I have no filter. <laughs> yes, uh, our dogs have definitely had 
loose stool on eating this, but it's something that they need to get used to. It's much better. See, look at that. So it's ready up to that, guys. And that's it, and we still have all this. So, I don't know. Any other questions for you guys? Truth or dare? I'm always up for a dare. Man, you got a lot of chickens and you weren't messing around. What is the meat that you got chopped up for the girls? What is that, Carrie? Yeah, I'll probably grab a couple. <laughs> Somebody's being nice and giving us boxes. They want to know what that meat is right there, Carrie. Can you tell me? For the girls, they said. This? What is that? Yeah. USDA choice, beef for stew. beef stew. Mm -hmm. What am I doing, Carrie? Okay, I'm going to switch sides because he's yelling at me for some reason. There you go. I feel bad not helping Carrie, but Hayden really sits on his phone and doesn't help me with anything, so I don't feel so bad. I'm just going to put a couple of things here really quick. Wait. Oh my gosh, look at that. I never saw that happen. Weight limit reached. Wow, that's pretty sad. I'm just trying to help carry, so I'm sorry if I'm making you guys sick with moving so much. Yes, exactly, Kimberly, that's what we do in the Instapot. So we were at Easter and I accidentally put it in the Instapot and all I wanted to do was warm it up. And I actually was, um, what, is, what is that word I'm looking for? Get okay? Sorry, somebody's coming. Yes, thank you. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, somebody was coming. Wow, that's we've never had this much before. What was your last item, Carrie? <laughs> this is why I wouldn't have done self checkout. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Help is on the way. We need help. I don't, you know, guys, it doesn't bother me. I don't care if I'm obvious. Seriously. Somebody had a question, but it went away. So much chicken. Yes, all that chicken is for our dogs. How do you prepare the beef? Stew meat, slow cooker, skillet. Yeah, we put it in a slow cooker Excuse or me. a pressure cooker. But he's getting yelled at, so. Yeah, that's. I gotta look away. That's the problem. It's just all a scale. Oh, no, you started taking everything off before you were done. It told me to take some stuff off because it said it was too okay. heavy. Right. Yeah, that's the problem with it because it's all weighted. Like, if you have a lot of big stuff, you should always go over there. Oh, okay. But yeah. That's okay. Uh, keep going. Okay. And then, um, yeah. Oh, thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. Oh, boy. We got in trouble. You like shopping with us? That's funny. I hope you're I hope you're not eating sweets. Oh, thank you so much. I appreciate it. This is kind of nice, actually, just standing here because normally I'm the one that's doing all that. So this is kind of nice. This isn't carnivore, Jen. That's not for me. The girls like it, and it's a little snack. Lily's not. Yes, I never do self-checkouts either, but because I was taping, he kind of wanted to do a self-checkout. All right, he's got it all. Wait, okay, you guys want to you guys want to see the total? It's actually lower than I thought it was going to be, so I guess you guys were closer than I was, so there's our total. All right, no, don't show him no more, because I got the card. Oh, I got his, he's got to swipe his card. Hey there, everyone. So yeah, this was our shopping time. I had a little bit of fun. It's not fun though when you can't throw stuff that you really want in the cart, like clothes and more blankets. I did get some pillows though, so you always do self-checkout. Oh, I hate it. Especially when you go with the girls because they all want to scan it. <laughs> That's terrible going with them. Now we're going to have to go. Let's see. I'll turn you around. Now, big boy is going to do all that. Oh, this is so nice that I don't have to do this. You know what I just thought, Carrie? We don't have my truck. <laughs> Oh boy, normally we have a truck with with all this, but this time we don't. 
Yes, I know what you're doing with your life. I agree with you, but when you go some places, there's nobody there. I went to Walmart the other day and there was 20 checkout lines with one actual cashier. It was absolutely ridiculous. But yes, I agree with you. Nice butt shot. Ooh, yeah? There we go. That's, that's my butt. Leave it alone. <laughs> Me a Lamb of God fan? No. I like Slipknot. I'm going to Mudvayne next month, which I'm very excited for. I bought myself tickets for my birthday. I'm very excited. All right, we're gonna see how we're gonna throw this in Emma's car. This should be interesting because Emma's got a little car and Lily has my truck because her car was having issues. Yes, no, you have the receipt. Tell me you don't lose the receipt. <laughs> oh boy, all right, here we go. Sorry if I'm making you guys sick, we're walking out now. I don't want to get anybody's faces on camera. Yeah, that's all Walmart has is self-checkouts. Pretty much any store. I've been going to Target and there's the same thing. There might be two cashiers. Oh, I want to see Slipknot. I have not, they have not been to Wisconsin yet. Luckily, one of my daughters likes the same music I do. So we're actually going to the concert next month together. Did you win the, <laughs> I'd have to look back to see. I think it was, what did it say, 604 for the price? And yeah, we're checking out here, I gotta. One second, I'm going past. All right, now we're going outside. Here he comes. <laughs> Oh boy. That was fun. Yeah, did you guys have fun with that? <laughs> Might get a little windy now. We're outside, so I don't know if it'll get too loud. I'm curious, what do you guys buy from Costco? Do you get most of your, like, your meat there or even Sam's Club? Do you guys get your meat there or toiletry? I know toiletry is a lot cheaper here than if you would go to Walmart. What's the temperature? I don't, what do you oh, think it is? Nice. What, like 50? 60, 55. Yeah, I was gonna say 50s, 55 maybe. This day we've had in a long time. You like meat at Aldi. See, I don't know. Something always freaked me out about the Aldi's meat. I don't know. I never got it from there. I have to look at the receipt because I thought it was 606. It was. Oh, it was 606. Well, it was over 606. So. Nacho chips for the theater. Oh, hey, Matt. <laughs> he said nacho chips for the theater. Yeah, we forgot those. No, that's a good. I normally. Amazon, don't we? Yeah, I buy mine on Amazon. I'd have to look at the price difference. It's just easier going from Amazon. Laundry soap. Yeah, I get all mine here. Or Menards when they have the 11% off. Clothes here are nice. Yeah, so here's. I'm not trying to get her license plates. Here's Emma's car. We actually. I'm a good mom. We actually got a car wash and I vacuumed her car out. I'm trying not to get you guys sick moving so much. I'm trying to open the trunk. Because she let us use her car. But yeah, somehow we'll figure out how to do this. Yeah, I'm trying to read your guys' comments. I opened the trunk, yes, but she's got some stuff in there. Oh, no. So she's got a cleaning business. Oh no. So she's got stuff in here already. Here, give me that. I'll put it in the back seat. Yeah, Carrie loves Dave Matthews. So was there a CD in her car? There's a, a Weezer oh, in mine. In hat, probably. Oh. That's not Dave Matthews hat. Well, they said DMB. I saw the two DMB. Are you guys talking about Dave Matthew Ben or the the hat that Carrie has on? The Matthews hat. Oh, in the passenger door. Ah, oh, Matt, you caught that, huh? Oh yeah. Yeah. You won't see that in my car, I'll tell you that. 
All right, I gotta move some of this stuff. This is the problem. So Carrie's going to, mm, where's he going? South Carolina and I baby my car. I'm sorry, I'm trying to fix the, the seat while I'm talking to you guys. I try to baby my car and now he's driving it all the way to South Carolina. I'm like, well, you're gonna just have to buy me a new truck. All right, guys, I can't figure out her dang seat. I gotta put you down for a second. All right, guys, hold on, I'm still here. I can't do it one hand. All right, there we go. But yes, blessed kids when you can actually use their car. Coconut oil is cheaper at Aldi. Okay, that's nice. I got it for Emma. She actually is doing something with Katie. Um, I don't wanna give it away. But I'll let her tell you, but she's doing something with Katie and um, You'll have to check it out. Emma the Carnivore, if you're not subscribed, and then uh, Outdoor Katie as well. You gotta check them out if you haven't. I'm trying to read all you guys' comments. Carrie's coming back. I know I'm a little boring, so he's coming back in a second. Oh, he slammed that hard. Jeez. Hold on, guys. Here he is. Success. Nice job, Carrie. Yeah, that wasn't very fun. I got the wrong end of the deal. Yeah, you did. That was nice for me. Jen and I have a date day every week. Yeah. Normally we go over to that movie theater there, but there's nothing yeah. good planned today. No. Nope. Nothing good planned. No. But Where's... it's so gorgeous outside. Why do you want to stay inside? So now I gotta fix the seat again. Jeez. Next time, please do a haul at my club, Sam's Club. That's Sam. We don't have, there's a Sam's Club in Madison, I think, but not nearby. Where? I don't know. I know there's one in Janesville. So that was probably our biggest think. grocery bill yet. Yes, but that was mostly because of the dog food. Yeah. Normally we don't, that dog food's going to last a how long do you think? A couple of months. Maybe two months. I think that's probably know, two months worth of dog food at least. Last time it lasted a month. Plus, we still have a bunch there. People mm -hmm. always ask, like, how long is that going to last you? I don't even know. Some of that stuff, we're just topping stuff off. Okay. We still got ground beef at home. We still got some stew meat at home. Mm -hmm. yeah. I get all my ribeyes from Sam's Club. But were they talking about that? Sam's Club versus Costco for the meat. Is it drastically different? I'd like to hear if anyone knows. Some people are saying they shop at Aldi's and get their meat, but I've always been, I don't know, I've always went against Aldi's meat. I don't know, there's no reason. Aren't chicken bones bad for the dogs? No, we put them through the grinder and it grinds them. Plus, if you think about it, a dog in the wild would eat a squirrel or an animal and it would just chew through everything. It wouldn't cook it or remove the bones. It would just mm -hmm. eat anything. I believe if you cook the meat and then give them the bones, it can splinter and that's yeah, bad for them. Yeah, you can't cook, you can't give them a cooked meat, right? We don't give it to them cooked, we give them the right. raw chicken after we mm -hmm. grind the bones up and it pretty much pulverizes them. Yeah. Yeah, we'll probably do another video, so if anybody's interested in seeing that. Sandra said, I prefer Costco for my ribeye and my strip. Those are my two big ones mm -hmm. I like too. I got strip steaks this time. I do, I've been alternating every other week. Ribeyes one week, strip steaks the next week. When I do strip steaks, I add a lot of butter. Sometimes I just like the taste better. That's the interesting thing with beef. People are like, don't you get bored? And I'm like, no, I, every steak is a different meal for me. Yesterday, Jen, we went out for our date night mm -hmm. and she got a tenderloin filet mignon. Oh, I never get that. I always get ribeye. I got ribeye, she got filet mignon, but we got to share. Mm -hmm. So that was really good. Ribeyes at my Aldi's were 14 bucks a pound. I think cheaper at Costco. Are you getting gas too, Jen? I am. So I said, I'm being a good mom. I cleaned it out, got a car washed. Emma's getting a deal. And now I'm getting gas. This morning for breakfast, I made um, omelets for everybody, mm -hmm. but I'm not eating, I'm not eating eggs or bacon anymore. I, I've been on and off and on and off. I'm off again for about a week now, maybe. I don't know, four or five days. No eggs, no bacon for me. I've just been eating beef, strictly beef lion diet, and I've been feeling really good. I don't think there's anything wrong with bacon or eggs, but it's fun to switch it up every now and then no, if you haven't tried it. What did you say about not having bacon? You got out of the car and you're like, oh, I don't hurt anymore. Yeah, I kept my lower back mm -hmm. every now and then starts bothering me, and it's usually when I'm eating bacon or eggs. She's reaching for more money. Here we go. Money, money, money. You need the card too, I suppose. Well, I could use my phone because I got my app on it, but... There you go. Thanks, dear. 
Do you have the Costco card or is that in my back pocket still? I'm not sure. There you go. Show them the total because they were asking. Oh, okay, you guys want to see the total oh, boys, again? Take me a minute. Ouch. Oh, we were under 600. Here's the total. Beep. Focus. 604. It was 598 total plus the tax. Yeah, a lot of that was the chicken. Lots of chicken. That's going to last over two months. And I got a couple things of beef stew because the girls have really been liking that. One of my one of my big things... Here, I'm going to put this right here and then I don't have to hold it. One of my big uh, things that's really helped me out with carnivore is, as my buddy Bill Nod in the chat says, prepare, prepare, prepare. Every day now we've been having eggs, bacon, ground beef. I eat the ground beef, the girls have been eating the eggs and the bacon. And um, this that beef stew meat, the girls love it, so it's like a regular thing now. It's like every third day or so I get the slow cooker out. I know you can use the Instant Pot, and I've done that too. I just like the slow cooker better. I do it the night before, I let it go on low, low and slow overnight. And uh, man, it's so good. Emma actually just texted me a picture about an hour ago of the beef stew meat I made the previous batch and she really liked it. Beef stew meat sounds good. How do you cook it? Margarita. It's the simplest thing. So I did this for Easter. I mentioned this earlier. I did this for Easter and one person was saying to me, that's going to be so blah and boring. No one's going to like it. We took this to Easter and it was the hit of everyone. Everyone was coming up to me like, what's your recipe for that? How did you make that? What are the spices you put in it? Literally it's beef stew meat with a little bit of salt sprinkled on it, and then I put a thing of butter in it. That's it, and it slow cooks overnight, and it is absolutely amazing the flavor you get on meat. You don't have to have onions and garlic and spices and all of that stuff. There's nothing in it. Easter was so crazy, because there was like 20, 30 people there. So many people were like, I need that recipe. I'm like, beef, water, salt. Like, that's it, that's all I eat. That's the recipe. Um, so it's, it's really good, really easy to do. I do it in the slow cooker, I only cover the meat about halfway with water. I leave half of it exposed. Um, it gets like this crust on it. It's so good. And I, I like to do it on low and I, I do it overnight. So I will do it the night before. Like I'm going to bed, I'll, I'll do it. And one of the, the only other thing I've done that is different is sometimes I'll get the cast iron skillet out with some beef tallow and I'll crisp the edges of the beef up real quick and then put it in there. But I haven't even been doing that anymore, and it tastes just as good, in my opinion, and what the girls have been telling me, so. I'm beginning to think bacon makes my back hurt worse, too, said Susan Hampton. You might want to try laying off it for a while and see. I'm surprised. I had horrible back pains my whole life. I went on carnivore. They all went away, but they come back and forth. No. I don't want to go home. Wherever you want, Jen. The, my back pains have been coming back, and I think it's, I'm, I'm almost, pot it's either the bacon or the eggs. I'm not eating anything else. Every now and then I'll have chicken, too, and that seems to give me, to act it up, too, so. Yeah, for like a week, I've just done beef, and I've been loving it. This morning, I had leftover beef stew meat. Yesterday, I had ground beef, and then I had burger patties later in the day, and then I had a steak. We've been doing a lot of patties. We didn't get any patties. I didn't like them from here, though. Yeah, the girls don't like the patties from no. here. They're like grass-fed beef patties. I've got a couple in the fridge from my neighbor still. Quick trip is good, though. You... <laughs> Take her roller skating, Carrie. That would make for a good live stream. Aww. We were talking about going bowling. Yeah. But now we got all this meat in the hot trunk, so we got to go home and drop it off if we can do anything else. Well, I have to say, I just got Emma's gas, and it only cost 20 bucks. Can you believe that? Emma's tank is 20 bucks. <laughs> I am not used to that. That is so funny. It was 20 bucks to fill this little car up, so... She's very proud of this car. Wait, my hair is kind of. Don't worry about my hair, guys. Kind of all over the place. Anyways, it's gorgeous out. I wish I knew what, it, what the weather was. So we got. Uh, this is kind of our last day off, and then we have a ton of. Don't read, Jen. I'm gonna. <laughs> she's gonna get in a car accident. I'll, Some, I'll wait, have questions wait, for Jen. I'll wait, ask. Where's my right finger? Here. There's my finger. Somebody asked, "What's your favorite uh, Slipknot song?" It's "The Devil and I." That's my favorite one. Mudvayne would be dig. It's my favorite one. Sirloin burgers from Sam's Club are amazing. I'll have to try those. I think your dad's got Sam's Club. So, uh, so this is our last there. day, Jen. And then we have a ton of work. Yeah. A ton of work. Um, really? All right. 
<laughs> the glove box keeps popping open. Uh, next week, Saturday, Jen's going to be there. I'm going to be there. JT's going to be there. Emma, Katie, Alyssa. Is Lily going? No. My daughter Lily. Not. Maybe not Lily, well, but everyone. We have a dog in the dog kennel, so if somebody's got I think stay. Adam's going, too. My buddy Adam's coming as well. Shout out to his channel. And JT, Carnivore Today. There JT, Poco Family, and, uh, William, we're all going to be in Fiendsville. People wait till the last minute. Man, snatch up those tickets. There's a link in the description below. It's going to be Saturday. It's going to be beautiful weather. If it's not, it's a covered area. Sorry, guys, this road is very bumpy. Jeez. We're on a bumpy, bumpy road. We're about to pass a driving range. Uh, someone said, Are you Packers fans? I'm a uh, healing humanity carnivore diet fan that's all i kind of focus on anymore but i do enjoy watching the packers from time to time he was especially when our uncle jeff was around yeah i used to watch him a lot more back in the day yeah. thoughts on the solar eclipse i didn't really see much we saw a little bit i got kind of a good picture oh the driving range is open people are out golfing right now that's kind of cool Oh, I'm so happy that it's going to be again, yeah, that it is wait. warm out right now. I had a really bad nightmare that we were done with summer, this was it. Like, we had a couple days of it, and then we went right back to winter. Oh, boy. That wasn't a nightmare, Jen, that was reality. Jen had a nightmare that it was winter again after being summer for a while. That's Wisconsin for you. Once you think it's warming up like today, we're going to have a blizzard tomorrow, I'm Don't. sure. Don't. We still have snow on the ground by our house. Yes, There's big chunks do. of snow. Hopefully they melt by tomorrow. It's supposed to be nice out tomorrow, too. Wisconsin only got a partial eclipse. Yes, we only had a partial eclipse here in Wisconsin. It was cool though. Uh, Katie sent us a picture. Yeah, Katie got she, a really good picture. She got a good picture because mm -hmm. it was going through the clouds, so it wasn't full 100% sun. I'm from Fiendsville. Haven't lived there for 36 years. Is that what you just said? Yes, that's what I said. Fiendsville, Wisconsin on Saturday. We're going to the big park in Thienesville. All of the details and link is in the description below. We're doing a carnivore meetup. Uh, I'm going to have my camera. We're going to do some YouTube videos if people want. We're just going to chat. We're going to have fun. There's going to be a big Jenga game. We're going to have some Frisbees. It's going to be a blast. Join us, please. Is it going to stop shaking now? I think, I think it's, it's Emma's better. car. It's a little better now. Nick was in Dallas and was able to see the total eclipse. Oh, wow. Got any pictures? Let's see. Oh. Bill had zero eclipse up in Alaska. It's too far north. Yeah, Bill, does, he's got weird situations up there in Alaska. It gets dark out at like 11 o'clock at night. Well, at least in the summertime when I was here. What is the most beautiful? Oh, these are some good questions. What is the most beautiful state you've traveled to? Uh, I can say far and above any other state I've ever been to, it is Alaska for sure. That place is otherworldly. Uh, that's why we can't wait, right, Jen, to get back? Yeah, because when I was there, we just went on a cruise. So we left out of Washington and we were on a cruise. So I didn't even get to really see a lot of Alaska. Second to Alaska would be Montana. Montana, yeah, I wouldn't move there. If I'd move anywhere, it would be there. Yeah, Alaska, you can't even... The best cameras in the world do not do alaska justice you have to see it with your own two eyes i want to see the was it northern stars or northern yeah that's what i want to see if i could go anywhere in the world on vacation to relax it wouldn't be some tropical island it would be alaska yeah for sure if you say hi to me i will give you five hundred dollars hi i wasn't gonna say anything <laughs> you said you not me Lynn Tucker Carnivore, I mail, emailed you pics of our Liberty Hill, Texas eclipse and link to our meetup report with Dr. Barry and Nisha. Jen and I watched your video last night. That was yeah, awesome. That was you so you met Dr. Cool. Barry and Nisha yep. and a whole bunch of people in San Antonio. That's so cool. I'm jealous. Isn't he the best? I haven't met Nisha yet, uh, but we met Dr. Barry, obviously, when we filmed him for the documentary. And, and Adam, yeah. we're going to be out there again at some point filming him even more extensively when it warms up, hopefully on the farm, if you'll have us there. Blackout hat? You need to block that troll. Oh. Blocked. Did you block or mark him as a moderator? 
No, I hit him. Alaska definitely is on my bucket list. 413 watching, only 85 likes. Come on, let's go. More likes here. Hopefully our internet connection will stay on. We're near Madison, Wisconsin right now. So here's something we could talk about real quick. Dr. Ken Berry is the bomb and Nishi is too, absolutely. Uh, you want to talk about what we were talking about earlier? We talked about a lot. What? Which part should we talk about? Your advice for someone doing something for 30 days. Yeah, go for it. All right, here comes Jen. Don't read no, the comments. No, not here. me. No, this is you. I don't want to be. Yeah, this is no, you. No, I don't like it. All right, well, Jen's driving. I should drive and you can talk. No, I'm good because I don't like being on camera. Here's my you best. You can hear me, so. Here, here's the best advice. I was telling this to Jen the other day, and I'm telling it to people because I get a lot of comments from individuals saying they're they're having trouble sticking to carnivore. How do you do the first 30 days? I did it for 10 days and then I fell off the wagon. What do I do? Obviously you have to have a very important why, but my other big piece of advice that really helped me during my first 30 days, and I told Janelle to do this too. You use my full name. You have to be selfish for 30 days and you have to focus 100% of your energy on yourself. For me, I was addicted to sugar and the standard American diet and all that processed garbage, it was a, a literal addiction. I think that stuff is more addictive than some of the hardest drugs on the planet. I think that stuff is more addictive than alcohol. I think it's more addictive than cigarettes. It's very hard to overcome an addiction. So you got to admit it's an addiction. That's the first part. Yes. But you got you to gotta focus 100% of your effort on yourself for those first 30 days. You can't be worried about, oh, who's going to be the... Where's the next election? What's going on in the news? Oh, I'm scared about this. There's some drama in your family. You have to focus 100% on yourself. You should be writing stuff down, taking notes. What do I feel better about? What has changed? What do I need to work on? Did I get cravings last night? What can I do about that? Am I worried about constipation or fiber or something? Okay, I need to do more research on it, but you really need to be laser focused. For 30 days, you need to be selfish. You need to just focus on yourself. It seems like everyone in this world, Jen being a mother, she's focused on the girls. She's focused on the, she's focused on what's going on at the movie theater. I'm like, let me help you with that the best I can. And you have to focus 100% on yourself for 30 days. And that's, that's one of my pieces of advice. The other one is, if you budget for your first 30 days on carnivore, spoil yourself that first week. Don't just do the ground beef the first week because it's really hard getting into ketosis. So that first week, I always tell people, if it were me, I'd spoil myself. I'd, I'd, I'd put the better part of my budget at the beginning and get some ribeyes and things like that. CB Cormac says, carnivore has been the easiest thing to stick to. Eat fatty meat until you're stuffed to eliminate the cravings and get healthy effortlessly. That is true. Wow, that's cool. Brittany says, we love the carnivore diet. Three months in, a husband's down 30 pounds. Congratulations, that's awesome. Folklore American, I did it for four months and then I got constipated. How are you on your fat intake? Because normally that's what I hear is that people feel like they're getting constipated, they're not eating enough fat. Sugar is an addiction that is condoned even in our children. Nick, 100%. Nothing gets me more fired up for this documentary than children and its future generations and the fact that we condone sugar and oh it's just fine getting these kids hooked at a young age telling them breakfast is the most important meal of the day turning them into lifelong drug addict sugar users and just like oh it's fine it rots their teeth it causes adhd it leads to depression anxiety i mean there's evidence for all of this now the link between sugar and highly inflammatory foods and poor metabolic health and depression anxiety type 2 diabetes chronic inflammation cancer and we're getting kids hooked on this and it's just a lot normal of hearts in the corner drives me nuts. Everybody loves that. The fans, the family keeps getting meat aversions. It's hard, but there are tricks. Yeah, she's the meat aversion one here. How are you doing today? I'm all right. You gonna get some pads on the way home? What are you gonna eat tonight? I don't eat when I'm not hungry. I'm not hungry now. I had some eggs in the car. I'll probably have the stew meat that you had on this last night. So she's gonna have some stew meat when we get home. Earlier this morning, I made the whole family. Every single day we eat together as a family, normally lunch, but it's normally breakfast for lunch. And today I made omelets for the girls. They seem to really like, did you like the omelet I made you, Jen? Yes. 
It was a little too salty though. A little too salty. I'm getting that argument. Um, I gotta lay back on the salt. I can. I literally. I cannot get enough salt. It's the craziest thing. I made the two, two or three of the girls still have cheese, so I made cheese omelets. And then normally I stuff it with ground beef, but I didn't have any ground beef thought out this morning. So it'll be a omelet with ground beef, some shredded cheese, and I slice a little butter on top of it, and um, bacon for the ones that eat bacon. Katie doesn't eat bacon, Jen doesn't eat bacon. Margarita said, I have a dear friend who is in hospice, and the food they're feeding her is garbage. Oh, I'm so, so sorry to yeah, hear that. Yeah, that's really sad. I worked in a nursing home for many, many years, and it was so sad on what they were making them. Especially now that I know it all, it really breaks my heart because they're old, they can't fend for themselves, and they want to live longer. Well, how are you going to live longer if you just give them crap? ice cream and snacks all the time yeah it's got to change cb cormac is celebrating one year corner first street tomorrow congratulations that should be your new birthday when i had my one year i was like i'd rather have this for my birthday than anything else and i interviewed a woman yesterday well a couple days ago it's gonna go live tomorrow her name is Catherine. she's a doctor a dentist she just threw a big party I was like, what was the party for? And she was like, to celebrate, because for the first time in my life, I feel like I'm truly living. She had um, anorexia and bulimia for 40 years and completely reversed it all on carnivore. She's the most joyful, happy person. She's, she's like, I literally threw a party to celebrate life. I'm like, that is a beautiful thing. That video is going live tomorrow. I think you guys will really like that one. I'm, I'm going to rewatch it because she was she's incredible. Great story. Tanya said, I have meat aversions too. It's getting better at times, other times it's not yet. Yeah, my, my best advice for meat aversions, and this is just going off of what I've heard other people say is, you gotta kind of fast until you feel hungry. I heard Amanda from Carnivorous Me say that she'll have bone broth or something until she gets hungry enough, and then it'll be like, oh, it went away. I can have meat again uh, when you get hungry enough. Or have other things, what about eggs? Or uh, different types of meat, maybe. Maybe it's just an aversion to a certain type. Yeah, kids think Easter candy, Halloween candy, birthday candy. Yep, family get together candy. Everything is candy and junk food. Well, that's how it was for us too. My aunt gave us all, even the adults, uh, Easter baskets, and she knows that we don't eat candy. But of course, she's like, "Oh, I just put a little bit in there." Okay, so you're gonna give a crack cocaine person a little bit of cocaine just because. It's okay. It's not okay. So it's not okay to force or give somebody candy. You think me? I'm a sugar addict. You really think that's good for me? That I'm just like, oh, I got it in front of my face. It's right here. Oh, just one bite ain't gonna hurt. I'm not saying it is. I'm saying that's what they're thinking. Yeah, it's a weird thing. We had that happen at Easter for Jen. She was doing so good. She did good. You stuck through it. You didn't eat anything bad on Easter. But at the end of Easter, there were there was this pie left and one individual that was like, oh, come on, Jen, you could just have a piece of pie. And Jen's like, no, I'm doing really good, I don't want any. Oh, one's not gonna hurt you. Like, they're so pushy about it, it's yeah. so annoying. But you know, I'm gonna say, I'm not gonna say a name, but but they were an addict of something. And if I, what if I would have said, hey, you just want a hit of this? Just take a little hit. How would they think? You're absolutely right. However, I don't think it comes from a place of malice. I just think they don't know any better. I'm just saying that's exactly what they're doing to me. If I'm saying right? no, they don't realize let it, it go. I'm saying no. They don't realize it for one reason or another. I think what it is is subconsciously they feel guilty because they were partaking and they were eating junky food and now they got, oh, my shoulder hurts, my stomach's bloated, I feel like garbage, I feel, I feel kind of ashamed that I put all this garbage food in my body. Well, now you do it too with me and they'll feel better. There's something like that. It's some psychological thing like that, but it drives me nuts. Redmond Salt is so good. Thank you for that suggestion. Absolutely. Bonnie said, I made that stew meat recipe that Carrie told us about. It was so good. Well, thank you for saying that, Bonnie. I feel funny talk, even calling it a recipe because it's literally just meat and salt. <laughs> I bet you it'd be good without the salt either. I do add butter, so I guess it's meat, salt, butter, and there's some water, so there's four ingredients. So easy, too. Karen Harrington made an egg bake for breakfast today, bacon and turkey sausage. Oh, yum, that sounds good. Have you tried the Redmond Smoked 
Smoked salt. I haven't tried that yet. I don't know why I haven't. What is it? Redmond's, you know we have Redmond salt. Yes. I got some, you had some on our keychain right here, Jen does. Yeah. Right, let me show you guys. And we talking about the keychains, I just sent out about 20 of them today, so thank you everybody who's been purchasing those. Yeah, we have people um every single penny goes towards the documentary these are travel size salt shakers they're twenty dollars which is a ridiculous price that we fully acknowledge but initially we were doing fundraising for the documentary and we're like what would be a good twenty dollar donation is a good increment well maybe we can give them something so it's pretty much more or less a donation for the documentary and then bonus you get this but jen ships them out and we gotta pay for shipping and everything um so you get a travel size redmond salt shaker comes out of keychain and then we have different colors of these things uh, so anyways, I've had Redmond salt for a whole year now. It's all like pretty much, well, I now, now I've been having that other salt too. And but, then Adam gave me some salt. But I haven't tried the smoked salt yet. And everyone smoked says it's salt. great. Yeah, it gets a smoked flavor, like oh. when you smoke meat. That would be neat. Okay. Sorry, I'm reading through the comments here. Let's see. When making burger patties, ground beef or pre-packaged patties? That is a great question that I, I need to contemplate myself some more. What do you guys say in the chat? I would say uh, ground beef, make it yourself. But I don't know why I'm saying that. The only reason I'm saying that is because I've done a lot of patties lately. They're expensive, grass-fed, grass-finished ones from Costco. And the, the whole family are like, eh, I don't really like these. And, that, and they're always so thin too. So I would say for convenience sake, I really like the frozen patties because you can just throw them in the air fryer. We did that a lot during winter time. But now that summer's around and I'm outside grilling more, I'm going to do more of my own homemade ones. Also because you can make them a lot thicker. Someone said, Bill, it just makes me smile and all warm inside when I see your videos. You are so inspirational for us all. Thank you. I agree. And yes, Bill has exactly. a video coming up tomorrow. Yeah. It's all scheduled. It's a premiere. Bill, you know how that premiere works, right? It's not... Bill will be in the chat live with you. I think you know that, Bill. You're not on the screen with them. It's just like this. You're just in the chat. So people are like, oh, Bill, how did you cook that steak or whatever? You can answer them in the chat. So Bill is doing, I think that is your first live premiere, right, Bill? I marked it. You guys should all go mark it. You can go to Bill's channel. You can click notify me. And then when the video goes live and Bill's going to be on there live, you'll get a notification. And that's coming up tomorrow. Hey, hello from the UK. Hello, UK. I can't wait to get out there and, and visit my UK friends. Ellen said, oh, people are awful trying to push foods on you, things. I think sometimes it's jealousy wanting to take us back down to where they are. I think you're right. And I don't even know if it's if it's premeditated. I think it's kind of a subconscious thing that they don't know they're doing, they don't realize they're doing it. I don't know, it's ridiculous either way. Luckily as carnivores, we're able to easily shoot that stuff down. Although it is harder for you when you're just starting and you're on week, day five of carnivore. Yeah. Did Jen enjoy steak last night? Yes, she did. Uh, in fact, it looks like you're a member, Shannon. We did a members only short. Uh, showing where Je today's our date day, but we actually went out last night. What? Mm -hmm. Huh? You had a steak last night. I had a steak. You had a filet mignon. I didn't enjoy it. Oh, she said she didn't. She didn't enjoy it, but she had a steak. She's still getting around to enjoying steak. So we were talking about this morning, like, okay, well, what do we need to do? If steak is what bothers you so much, are you fine with ground beef? Yes. She's fine with ground beef. Are you fine with patties? Are you fine with eggs? So we're gonna lay off the steaks because I think that's what gives her the big meat aversion right now at this point. She did have a filet mignon last night though, but she didn't love it. I loved it. I love the rest of it, but uh, baby steps. So more ground beef, more patties, just fine. There's I lots of- I love you. There's lots of carnivores that just do chicken and seafood and turkey and I know I fat. like chicken, gotta but I gotta fat. put a lot of butter on it. Yes, I will. I have chicken in the freezer. Ellen just got her first container of Malden sea salt flakes. Be careful, Ellen. Be careful. Those things are. There's no turning back now. Those things are really good, addictive. Question: Can you do a video of the new beef with the results? Possibly. We'll see. 
this is going to be a crazy week for me now. Uh, my good friend Adam is coming into town. We're filming for the documentary and we're doing other behind the scenes work on the documentary, but we're also filming some of my story for the documentary because that's what kind of ties Bill's story and Maggie and Jeff and all the people we're filming. My story, like traveling out to film Dr. Barry, ties all of those things together. Well, we need a good intro from me that isn't a YouTube video of low resolution and low quality. So we've got the, the high quality camera and the lighting and Adam's actually gonna interview me and we're gonna get some B-roll and we're gonna get some shots around the house and the yard and some things like that for the documentary. Adam from Carnivore Today, right? Adam from Carnivore Today. Yes. Go subscribe if you Go haven't. subscribe. If you're not, you're missing out. Right. Shout out Adam. Sandra said, just think of it as a donation with a bonus salt shaker. Exactly. That's it. That's what I was trying to say too. Ribeye Carnivore are too nice. Malice or not carry it's disrespectful of family or anyone to insist. I just push back but never fold 100 percent. yeah you're right yeah there's a couple of our family members and they do it all the time now i just give it right back to them and then i feel bad for them because you see them they're eating the cake and whatever oh here you have one too no i don't want your here you have some crack too here i'm drunk off my rear end now you That's get drunk with I me get, get i'll feel better if we all get drunk together i don't have a filter so i'll say something about it well, it's usually sad too because the people that are doing it are usually the sickest ones. That it is, yes, be doing and you it. try to help them. You try to help them. No, you don't need that, or I don't need that, and this is the reason why. And they'll listen to you. They're like, "Oh, it won't hurt you. Just one piece." Well, that one piece is going to knock you out of ketosis, which is going to make you your blood sugar go up. And I'm like, "No, I don't." And then that one piece, I'm going to want more. It's like Pringles. You can't just have one. Uh, someone asked, did you get to see the solar eclipse where you are? Homestead How We have actual eclipse here, and yes, Jen and I saw a little bit of it. We got a couple photos. It's pretty cool. Bill said, yes, it's my first one. Thought I'd try it out since you do do it all the time here. Yes, Bill, I think it's awesome that you're trying it out. I wouldn't recommend, though, no, Bill. Well, you see what happens. I wouldn't recommend doing it every single time that way. But it's a great... It's a great thing to do every now and then. Well, explain why, though. You can't just I, leave them. I, I, there's speculation that when you do a premiere, you get less views. I don't know if it's true or not. But there's speculation when you do a premiere and you're in there chatting versus if you just make it live, which is the stupidest thing in the world. Like, why would it make any difference? But YouTube has all these weird things. So I used to do almost every one of my videos as a premiere. And now I just do it if it's like a special event or something like that. But I think it's great for you to do, Bill, because people want to talk to you. And I know you're thinking about tinkering and doing more live streams. This is a great way entry into live streams because you're not on camera, you're just chatting. It's kind of it's kind of like halfway to a live stream, but uh, just fair warning, Bill. I wouldn't I would see how it does for you. But I wouldn't necessarily do every video like that. I thought, Bill said, I thought Jen might throw her hands up above her head, taking a bite of that steak, and she did the Dr. Berry figure. Yeah, I don't, I edited some of that out, but she did a little, I was like, can we get a Dr. Berry hand, can we get the hand to shoulder length yet? She's like, not yet, but she's going to do the legit hand when it's, when it's true and legit. When she, I'll get there sometime, but it's going to take me a while. I said this, I said this yesterday, I don't remember, but my sister is carnivore now for 10 months, I think, not eight, nine months, and she. She had, she didn't like steak, but she was still doing ground beef, just like Jen, and she was still doing patties, just like Jen. And a couple months into it, it finally struck, and she, she called me up, and she said, Carrie, I'm craving ribeye. And finally, a switch went off in my brain. So I think when that day, and it's true and honest, if it happens for Jen, she's going to do the true Dr. Berry hands. Yeah, and then you're going to, uh, can't say it. You're going to pass out when I do. Ed Nutter said, I shared the interview you did with the guy from Canada that had cancer with a good friend of mine where her son was just diagnosed with cancer. Great interview, by the way. Oh, thank you for that. Uh, I'm going to be doing another video with that gentleman. I can't wait. Yeah, he has just an incredible story, and uh, he's good friends with Jeff, too, so maybe we'll all do a live stream with him and Jeff. You should try uh, bacon wrapped chicken, a nice intro into bacon without it being the main focus. Here's an idea. Never in my life did I think I would eat butter and enjoy it, but when you get really good quality butter, I actually love it. Yeah, you know, yes, Jen yeah. loves the butter too. Yep, that's where all, most of my fat comes from. I've never tried that's rabbit it. meat. Mm -hmm. 
Steak is more expensive, so you're saving money. Yes, and, 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 Dr. Berry Finger, the ground beef, I have really grown to love ground beef. Like, I almost, I, sometimes I prefer it over steak, which is, just sounds like blasphemy. If you do ground beef right, and you get the texture right, and it's not rubbery ground beef, and you get some butter added into it, crispy edges, it is absolutely fantastic. I love it. I absolutely love it, especially for breakfast. Can you become a member of your channel from your phone? Can't work it out. Uh, that is from... Well, she... No, I... I think you can. You might have to hit the three little dots. Otherwise, I always tell people to do it on desktop because a lot of people have trouble figuring that out on the phone. We do do a members only live stream every Thursday at 3 p.m. And we do members only videos like I did one yesterday, uh, Jen and our date night. And when we filmed Dr. Barry, we did some. We're going to be doing a lot more members only as well. Sam says, Aloha, do you both like lamb? No, I don't think either of us do. You've never had lamb, have you? No. Jen's never had lamb. I don't mind it, but I've never cooked it myself, so I've, I'm scared to buy it and ruin it. I've had it once or twice at a restaurant, and I was like, yeah, it's pretty good. I don't think I've ever had the good stuff. I'm sure if I had a good, someone that cooked it and prepared it properly, I'd like it a lot more. Uh, someone said, Jen, I can't wait to see you progressing. Emma, I told you to call her days ago. Jen, someone said they can't wait to see you progressing. I can't either, but thank you. I, I'm going to say we did a, I did a, well, Sunday, don't go on at me again. <laughs> uh, Sunday, we did a live stream from the theater, and Carrie was going to be quiet. He, he was, but then I told him to talk because I don't really know what to say half the time. So I was thinking, uh, when it, he'll be really busy this week, so I think that I'm going to do a, a video possibly this week and just kind of talk about, uh, it's only been 16 days, but the ups and downs, the needed version, um, anything. So if you guys have any questions now, maybe ask them now, Carrie can read them, and then when I do the video, I'll talk about them on there, but I think a lot of people are asking about that because they say that, you all say that I'm an inspiration, which I really appreciate, but I don't see it yet. Like I said at the beginning of this video, go check out Anna on Poco Moonshine Family. She lost over 111 pounds in a year, so if you want inspiration, there you go. So um, I think people want to see, because you're in the midst of it right now at the start, and a lot of people are at the start, so they want to see that. They want to know why is it working for you now and it didn't last time yeah. what is helping you this time versus last time what is keeping you motivated i think things like that questions like you're doing groups now yeah i'm in what a lot of groups uh meet sisters on facebook which is lynn tucker carnivores page and then um i still can't remember beef and butter gal Bella's, bella's steak and butter gal Say it again. Nope. But you guys can't see it, but it's gorgeous out there. No. We want to go kayaking out there this summer. I'm really looking forward to it. We just drove over the Wisconsin River. All right, back to Kerry. Oh. No. Like, I don't like being on camera. You guys can look at him. He's, he's gorgeous. See, I get yelled at so much because they're like, you keep talking, let her talk. And then, but people don't see her nudging me under the I, table. I can talk. I just don't like being on camera. Okay, keep talking then. I don't, I don't want to talk more about it because, like I said, I want to do um, a video. So if you guys have any questions for me, any kind of questions, whatever, if it's family, homestead, carnivore, keto, whatever, I will answer. Question, okay. what kind of butter do you use? I've been using the Kerrygold butter. Uh, a lot of people recommend to try the Kirkland stuff, but my Costco doesn't carry it. If you guys were with us shopping earlier, you would have saw that. So I use the Kerrygold butter. And Bill Matt just mentioned slow cooking with meat with butter, nothing beats it. He's, I absolutely agree. That has been my go-to. What is you, what do you guys have for your go-to? What's one of your favorite carnivore meals? You tell me. I'm, I'm thinking about doing a video. Maybe we're gonna have Adam help us film it. I'm thinking of doing a video 
my five carnivore go-to meals. I'm trying to think of a catchier title, but it's like my go-to meals that got me through 380 days on carnivore because there's a couple of meals that really helped me out. Like, oh yeah, we're gonna have Power Bowl. Oh yeah, we're gonna have beef stew slow cooked with butter in it. There's a couple of meals like that that really, really got me through. And when you would eat them, it would be like, man, I feel amazing. I want more. I want that again. Like that, like your body's just screaming, thank you. That's it. So I don't know what you guys would think if that would be a good video. Uh, I'm trying to think of a catchier title. You got any ideas, Jen? Five go-to carnivore meals that help me get through carnivore or something like that. There's got to be something in there. It's so tricky with YouTube coming up with those titles and thumbnails, but my five favorite carnivore meals. Love the live streams, Carrie and Jen. Thanks for all you do. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Hey, it it must be a win-win then because we love doing them and like the support Jen has been getting from them has been priceless. Exactly. Yes. I try to reply to the shorts that I do. I try to reply to everybody. And it's just amazing. I am addicted to this, and. I guess people would say, oh, it's because of the attention or whatever, but I really don't think it's that. It's the community. Living in a world, like we were talking about earlier, you go to the family and they're pushing sugar on you and everyone's eating sugar and we're the odd ones out. Hanging out with hundreds of other people that are carnivores that get it. Proper humans living life to their fullest potential, talking to people, seeing what they're eating, seeing what's working for them, getting tips. I love it. Like that is my that is my carnivore group. I'm also in Dr. Barry's group too, which is awesome. Jen's in Bella's Steak and Butter Game group, which is great as well. But just chatting with other individuals, so much fun. Serious question from Bill for Jen. Ask her why she's so awesome. Oh, Bill. <laughs> it's a serious question. I don't think so, but thank you. Hey, my buddy Nick Jennings is on here. You guys were talking about Nick earlier. I did a video with Nick the other day, incredible story. He, Nick said, Jen, you are sticking with it through the hardest part. <laughs> this car is so shaky, so shaky. The first few weeks, that is the inspirational. After you adjust, it's a piece of cake, just don't eat the cake. Thank you, Nick, that's good advice. Yes. This is the hardest part. Yeah. Hopefully you're through the hardest part. You could have a harder part coming up. You could have oxalate dumping. Well, like I said yesterday, I went to bed and my back was killing me. Actually, I'm going to be honest, my legs were swollen last night. And I have no idea why. What'd you eat? Beef. Had something weird. It's probably just your body processing because for 42 years, you're eating all this stuff. you got to get rid of these toxins. Your body's cleaning out the system. To expect all that to happen in two weeks would be crazy. If it happened in two months, you should be thankful. If it happened in two years after 43 years, I bet you that's what it is. Question from Sam. Uh, Carrie and Jen, what would you say to my mom, who I told I am doing carnivore, but says, God created us to eat some meat and mostly veggies. That's why our teeth are mostly flat with four canines. Ha ha ha. Oh, Sam. Okay. I give me your mom's phone number. I'll love to have a phone call with no, her. I just... No. I, I, wait, just let me say one thing. I would say... God bless your mom because she's she means well. I would also say what whatever God intended yes. isn't what's on this earth That's right now. Exactly what I was just saying. We get say. people saying that all the time. In the Bible it says you could eat fruit. In the Bible it says you could eat vegetables. It's not like it used to be. It's not like it used to be. The fruit Remember of today. The strawberries when you used to go get them, when you go picking them, they're about that big. You buy them at the store, they're like that. So that is not a true strawberry that we used to eat. The fruit of today isn't how God intended it. No. I truly believe that. I truly, truly believe that. Why? Because it's been genetically modified. It's been altered. It's been bred. It's been made to taste like candy. Just like everything else in this world that you have that sugar addiction for. That's number one. Number two, let's say you go get some vegetables out of the garden. Most of these vegetables, they seem so normal to your mother. They seem so normal to us. But throughout mankind, like a tomato was a decorative plant. People didn't even eat them. Potatoes, those were fed to farm animals. Now it's like, oh, potatoes are so good for us. They've tricked us. Dr. Chafee said this before. He was like, that stuff is survival food. Vegetables are survival food that throughout history was given to the poor. 
The last thing I would say is, if you go and get, say, a tomato out of the ground, it is nothing like the tomato that your grandmother got out of the ground in her time. Why? Because we've, we're destroying the soil. And you have to have nutrient-dense, nutrient-rich soil, and that's going to affect the seed and it's going to affect the tomato. If you put tomato in just a dust bowl of soil and then you pour chemicals all over it, there's hardly any nutrients that you're getting out of that tomato um, like you would have a generation ago. My biggest argument is this, and I'm trying to find a good analogy. Meat is the most nutritionally dense food on the planet. I get everything I need from meat. I can't say the same for vegetables. I can't just eat vegetables and survive. I would die, but I can survive on just meat. I gotta come up with a better analogy, but my best one is, if I opened my garage door and I went in my garage and I had a brand new F-150, the most reliable truck on the world, it's brand new. It's gonna last me for decades. It's got no miles on it. It's got a fresh oil change, brand new tires. And then next to it, I had a clunked down 1970s station wagon. The tires are, are practically flat and losing air. It's full of rust and it barely putters along. Why in the world would I drive the station wagon when I have a brand new F-150? <laughs> the F-150 gives me everything I need. I would never drive the, the station wagon that's just destined to break down. There's no reason to. And when people say that to me, yeah, but aren't you going to just add in vegetables? I always say, why? Why would I? I am literally wanting for nothing. I have every nutrient, vitamin, mineral I could possibly need. The only reason that, why would you add this? Why wouldn't you add this is like an addiction. Like, oh, I got it. I, I need the pleasure of eating that food or variety or something. I don't know what the reason would be, but if I, if I get all the nutrients I need for meat, then why would I add anything else? So, Sorry, Sam, that's a really long answer for your mom, um, but that's what that's what I would go with. That's exactly what I was gonna say. The other thing I would say personally is, eating only meat for a year has completely changed my life forever. I have no inflammation, I have no arthritis, I have no depression, I have no anxiety, I don't snore anymore, I'm a better human being, I feel like I'm a better husband, I feel like I'm a better father, I feel like I'm a better person. How could God not be happy with that? Why would God want me to be where I was before, which I attribute almost entirely to the plant-based diet I was eating. People that people say, oh, I just eat regular food. Dr. Barry taught me this. No, what is regular food? If you just eat regular food and you're not eating only meat like me, you're eating plant-based. Everything is plant-based. All the processed food, Twinkies, they come from plants. Pizza comes from plants. Uh, cheeseburger bun and the ketchup and the lettuce and the french fries, all comes from plants. So when I was eating plant-based, I was miserable. Uh, I, I feel like I'm a better human. And oh, 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 here's another thing. From the religious perspective, our body is a temple and I'm absolutely ashamed. I'm a steward of my body. It's a blessing. It's an absolute privilege. It's a miracle that I'm even alive and that I'm even here. And it is such a shame what I did to my body and what I put in my body and how I treated my body, that was a miracle that I, I actually have it. I am literally ashamed of how I treated my body before. I think God would be much happier with how I'm treating my body now versus how I was on the plant-based diet. Question, why are you streaming in vertical mode? It's hard to fit on a big screen, much easier for a phone. Yeah, well, most of our streams, including the one we did last night, is horizontal. This is on the phone, it's portable. It's something stupid that YouTube is pushing. But if I do a video like this, YouTube sends it out to more people. We want more people. We want to get the message out. We want to reach people that are hopeless. So that's why I'm doing it now. And it's easier on the road like to hold it and do this stuff. But most of our live streams are horizontal if they're from our computer or home. Carnivore cheer, Lori. My go-to meal is two beef patties with butter on top and three or four scrambled eggs cooked with butter. That sounds fantastic. That's one of my favorites as well. Scrambled eggs and ground beef is one of the best, or patties. Uh, Emil said, uh, Emil, I have a question. Bacon, I love bacon, but I haven't eaten any because all of them are cured in sugar. Yes, there is sugar in bacon. You gotta be real careful. Um, there are, you can get bacon that's a lot cleaner. One of the things that I've done in the past was, we were just at Costco, we got pork belly. We smoked it up ourselves. It was incredible. We didn't add any sugar to it, and I just put Redmond salt on at the end, and it was very good. You can get clean bacon from certain places. Some people will just get the bacon from Costco or wherever that does have a little bit, baby bit of sugar in it. 
if you can limit yourself to three or four pieces, then you're like, well, this is only a couple carbs. Some people are okay with that. That's a decision you have to make. Leaf G, 250 NOKs from Norway. Thank you so much. That's $25 super chat. I really appreciate that. Every penny going towards the documentary. Here's for a salt shaker to give away to someone too far to send oh, here. Oh, thank, thank you so you. much. We are going to bring that these. That very nice. We have our Thienesville, Wisconsin meetup on Saturday. And I'm going to bring, I'm going to give, I'm going to give a couple away because of your donation. Thank you so much for that. I really appreciate that. I, I want to give these away to all the members too. I'm going to have these with at the meetup. We're going to bring some shirts with. We're going to do some fun stuff. So thank you so much for that. All right, let's see what else we got here. Bacon has too much salt for me. Anyone have a reputable? Maid said, does anyone have a reputable article on nutrients lacking in today's vegetables and fruit? I need to prove it to my family. Well, being on the road, I don't have anything here, but um, let me see if I can think of anything. Man, there's a couple videos I've watched on the subject. My best source on that isn't something I can easily reference to you. When we filmed Maggie, uh, 82 year old carnivore, she's been eating a proper human diet for 65 years. She was going hard and heavy talking about soil health and how there's no nutrients left in the soil. And the proper way to do it, which she does on her farm if she grew any vegetables, is regenerative farming. The cows poop on the soil, the nutrients from that poop replenishes the soil and then you grow plants in it. Um, being on the road here, I don't have anything I can reference quickly, but I would maybe Google it around a little bit. The other thing you could reference, but in terms of making an argument to your family is, what about all of the pesticides that are in the fruit that just get a complete pass? Who's telling you that those are fine? The pesticide companies. Who's telling you, oh, it's fine, just a little bit of poison's fine. Uh, meanwhile, everyone's getting sick. There's all these uh, incidences of IBS and leaky gut. Um, what about the glyphosate? A little bit of glyphosate's fine. A little bit of pesticide's fine. Um, the pesticides also have forever chemicals in there, so a little bit of forever chemicals are fine too. Now some people argue you get some of that in the meat as well, but I would argue that stuff is literally sprayed all over the produce. Corn now, they just saturate the corn with glyphosate because it's GMO. They make it um, resistant to glyphosate and then they could just put more and more and more all, and destroy all the weeds and everything around the corn. And it's fine, the humans will just eat it. So. My argument wouldn't just be the fact that those fruits and vegetables are less nutrient dense than they were in the past. My argument on the fruit would be it's basically like candy. That's hard to argue. Ask, look around, look at some books or ask your grandparents, what did an apple used to look like? Like apples used to be like little crab apples off of a tree. Now you get an apple, it's a big piece of candy. It's like this big, it just, it spikes your blood sugar. And then why do you think you eat an apple? You're trying to do good for breakfast and then two hours later you're starving again and then you're going for a granola bar or some other processed garbage. It's because it's it converts in your body just like sugar. Fructose, glucose, it all converts in your body. If it's got carbs in it, in my brain, those carbs are going to convert to glucose. It's going to be like sugar in the body. So the other thing uh, on, the, on the vegetable side is... The last thing I would say is, what am I getting from this? Go eat a salad, you get 14 calories from it. Do the math. The amount of energy it takes my stomach to process a head of lettuce is more than the amount of energy my stomach is gonna extract from the 14 calories in the head of this lettuce. The math doesn't even work and then you're getting glyphosate and pesticides and Jen has a point to make. No, I don't have a point to make. Can you just be a little bit more quiet? Oh, am I yelling? Sorry. <laughs> I get fired up He's when we right talk about vegetables. He's right next to me because his car is very tiny. He's just yelling. Just bring it down. Okay, you talk now. I'm good. We're almost home. We're so. almost home now, so yes. we're going to have to wrap this up. Yeah. You got any final, final, final closing thoughts, Jen? No, I just appreciate all you guys, like I said, with all your comments and all that. I really do appreciate it because... I don't have family that kind of helps me along with this. So you guys are all my family. Of course he does, of course my kids do. But other than that, they're like, oh, you're fine. You don't need to do that. You don't need to lose weight. It's not even just losing the weight. Sure, I would love to lose weight. I have a lot to lose, but it's more of just being healthy. I don't want my back to hurt anymore. I don't want my legs to be swollen. I want to be able to go on hikes with them. You got to write all that down. 
Because you're going to be normal. I want to look better. I'm getting, I'll be almost 40. No, okay. Let's talk about them all. Your be, migraines? I'm going to be older. So it's like, I don't want to get all the wrinkles and crap in my face. And I don't want to look old. And I mean, there's more than just losing weight. Sure, you could lose weight, but there's more to life than just that. So I do appreciate all you guys sincerely with the bottom of my heart. I really do. Sorry, somebody's calling me. I'm not able to Mood, get it. Mood, energy? Yeah. I mean... You all know how it goes, your mood, your energy, your brain fog. I mean, I used to get migraines all the time. Like every day I would get a migraine and I would just be like, I can't do this. I don't want to do this anymore. I haven't worked on my YouTube channel for a couple months because like, I just don't have time. I don't have, I don't, how do you say it? I don't prioritize things. So organization. now organization, I'm not a very good organizer. Um, okay, you want to stop? Jeez. Anything else, Karen? I said planning, too. Um, so, yeah, being a carnivore, even when I was doing keto, I had that. The carnivore is much better of um, planning and, and figuring things out and, and getting things done. So I definitely feel that. You guys know what I'm talking about. I'm sorry I'm not looking at the camera. I'm driving. I got much Sam said, going. by the way, you are my favorite carnivore YouTube channel. Oh, that Aww, means a lot. Thank, thank you. you. <laughs> That's so sweet. We're There's not even, so we're, we're, not our, we're not our favorite. No. <laughs> <laughs> Who's our favorite? I don't want to pick. There's too many. Yeah, I can't. Yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, thank you, everybody. I hope you had a great day. Hope you got to see the hey, eclipse for Before a we bit. end the video, what are we going to do after this, Jen? Okay, go this way. There we go. More on you. I think we should go kayaking. Today, yeah? Yeah. Are you up for it? We'll see. Maybe kayaking. I think the water's still too cold because... Well, were you not going in the water? No, but sometimes I do fall in. I think we're gonna go kayaking out. We'll we'll do some members only little thing afterwards. I mean, there's the, the lake right here. We could go to the lake. Yeah, yeah. We don't have to go all the way out to the Dells again. We're gonna go drop off all of our food. We're gonna have to make the dog food up tonight. Yeah. The whole family does the dog food. That has been our best tip on doing dog food. Don't do a little batch. Like you saw, we filled the whole car up. That's gonna last two months. We don't have to do this for two more months. We pack it all up in a little freezer bag for the dogs, but we're gonna go unpack. This is our little last date day before we got a ton of work to do on the documentary. We're gonna be traveling all over the country. I'm going to South Carolina, I'm going to Boston, I'm going to Austin, we're going to Alaska. Oh my goodness, we're gonna be everywhere. Uh, so this is kind of our last day. So we're gonna go drop off the meat and then we're gonna do some kayak, carnivore kayaking, right Jen? I'm sure Katie's gonna to wanna to go too. So check out Katie's channel, Outdoor Katie. I'm sure she'll do a video she'll later. I'm not doing any more there. videos today. I'm off for yeah, the day. Yeah, she'll do some Whoa. All right, thank you guys so much for all the nice comments Bye, and for guys. joining us on our shopping trip. That's yeah, crazy. They went shopping with us and now we're almost home. You went shopping with us. With this, with this. <laughs> That's just weird. <laughs> but yeah, thank you for doing that. But like I said, um, stay on the lookout. I'm going to try this week to do just my own personal journey video for you guys and that's i think it would be great for me too because then i can look back on it later on all by yourself one-on-one -on -one. you look, and the camera yeah just me and the camera and i can look back on it you know in a couple months or something and be like boy was i really that inflamed or was i really that heavy or you know whatever it is so i'm i'm gonna do that for Wait, you let's guys show them the horses and real i'm quick gonna too, do though. it for me these horses say hi Sorry, to us i can't turn it more I we always say hi to these horses you can see them right now there we go. They're always there saying hi to us every single time. So those are our little friends. All right, so we're gonna end it here. Yes. Right? I'm trying to read because I I want to see your comments. I always go on afterwards and I'm gonna have to read them all. Oh, uh, Karen said, Jen, um, in, imagine your best self, who God intended you to be. That's I don't awesome. think I've ever been that before. So. I'm you Thank you, God. Thank you so much. You guys are family too, and we really yes. appreciate it. Thank you. Love have you a good all. day. Bye. Bye. Beep. 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 Beep.